Hi, it's Al Victoria. This is Victoria from Al Victoria Sells Home. I'm so excited to do a walking tour with you inside one of these new construction homes. Um, new construction means that there will be blue tape. There could be something quite that hasn't finished with it, but I mean, this one's pretty much done and it's lovely. And I've had clients buy the 2421 square foot home from this builder before because it's a lovely home and they do have more available. So with that, let's go check it out. That way we can talk about it, right? Um, you do have a two, two car garage. And then a nice, this one has the drive walkway over here. The other one's had a little bit more straight, but it just depends on the, where they have to set the house. We're going to go in. You can see a little bit of stuff on the side. Nice wide area to where you can get, step out and really see what's going on. And then we come in and I love it. So this is an upgraded door. With these doors, they're upgraded because of the window. That's what makes these doors upgraded. But we come in. Now I have a couple choices when I come in. I am technically in the foyer section. I could go to the main room. I could go, this is a three or four bedroom depending on what you want. The reason I say that is because this bedroom over here could also be an office that has the two doors, which is nice and big. The window makes this amp, but it does have a full long big closet for a guest. This is a really big closet. So you could make this an, a bedroom or you could make this an office. I would recommend an office just because of the double doors and it feels like it would be lovely. However, you can choose whatever you want. It's your house, your needs, right? Another one, two bedrooms over here. I can go over here. I love this bedroom. These are the double windows. I love light. Light just makes everything lovely. So I love this one. The closets are deep still for a kid's closet. This is a great. Coming this way, you can see the blue tape around. This is the guest bathroom. Um, just a regular bathroom, it is quartz. That's what this builder uses as a standard, quartz. So it's not cultured marble. Linen closet, another bedroom, this one, another bedroom it is a very large bedroom and again these closets are pretty big for kids rooms this is a big closet so it's quite lovely that way come on let's head um this house just gets so much light because of all the extra upgrades there i love it um the blue tape means that they're under construction they have another layer of painting to go um you can put another closet your coat closet because again that is the front door we haven't even gotten into the main house the front door here now are you ready for the big reveal because here is open concept at its finest just do a pan around this open concept and then we'll talk a little bit more about this house so you can see open concept galore coming this way this is the standard granite. They do have upgraded granites as well, but you can see from the dots that this is the standard one. Huge closet, I mean pantry, pantry. Um, you can see this is where the refrigerator would go. Um, you get the double sink, washer dryer. Dining area is going to be over here. You can tell even though it is open concept, you do have a separate section because of the tray ceiling. Um, tray ceilings are kind of standard in this community, but they are not standard in all their communities. But I do love that extra little pop that gives you like a, this is clearly deline delineating what this room should be, which is the dining area. You do have a small patio area. You do just get, basically get the basic, the basic cement, what you do after that is on you, but you do get the basic cement um, as well. And they still have a bit of a yard, so it's gonna be nice. Um, they only, they spend $5,000 on, on grading of the things, so they do kind of make sure that they spend as much sodding as possible. Going over here to the master, to the primary, here's where you can put your living area. You have two choices as always. You can put your TV up there. You can try to find a way to put the TV over there. If you are anti, we're on the fire fireplace because the rest of the windows are gonna just make it impossible to put it anywhere else. So it's gonna be either here or on this wall. But it's quite lovely. Now, and it's quite big. So you could put 
huge pieces of dining, um, a huge sofa, and it's really not going to make a dent in this room. It's going to feel very open the whole time. If you're getting a huge, super long sofa, I would, of course, put it on this side to still keep that flow. But, I mean, you still have this entire section of flowing open concept. Now, let's go check out the garage area the, the, and everything, and then we'll end with the primary. So, over here, obviously, here is the garage, two-car garage. Our water heaters are typically outside. Here is the laundry room. Oh, wind today. Laundry room, washer dryer, what's nice is you can close the door. Um, here again, just so you understand. Oh, here is of course the linen closet. This is the kitchen area. So if you're coming from the garage and you have all your groceries, you're gonna come, put your groceries probably here. Here's gonna be your refrigerator. And then you can kind of put things where you need to put them. Continuing down this hall, you have another closet. Uh, another bathroom. Sorry, this is a half bath. Sorry. Ha ha. Hi, JK. Um, lights are over here. Sink and bathroom, obviously new construction, so they haven't finished that. So if you have guests over, they don't have to go to your kids' area. They can go right here into behind the closet, the kitchen. And then finally, we have the primary bedroom. I love it. This, this community comes with, they must have tray ceilings. Not all communities, other communities are going to have tray ceilings optional. So this one is just a nice, lovely feeling. It's a very big room. Um, you could have a king size, honestly, you could have a king size bed, another bed, and you'd just be facing windows. But I mean, it's a very big room, which is lovely. Then we come into the bathroom. You have a linen closet. Double sink, quartz. This one they chose the shower tub combo, which is the most common choice I see for this new construction. Because if sometimes people want a tub to soak in. Um, here is a where the toilet is. Obviously, in case you need to use, which somebody everybody does, but you can also close it off. And then last you have a a walk-in, a walk-in. Walk in, blah, blah, blah. Closet, thank you. Thank you, my husband, Al, from Al and Victoria Sells Home. But I wanted to kind of end this with this lovely, lovely bedroom because this could be yours. They do have more available. So if you are looking for a home in our area, these are is a lovely builder and the builder you know, lives in the community. So this is a lovely, lovely option to choose.